Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen, amen. After the, the death of Moses, the Lord spoke to Joshua and gave instructions uh, for his new position. And Joshua, he was supposed to take all those instructions the Lord gave him and do that to the T. And he had to listen carefully what the Lord was saying to him to be able to fulfill God's will, God's command. Amen. But one of the things that we want to be successful and the thing that God told us to do, we have to listen carefully. Amen. And, and follow the thing or do the thing God said to us to do. Amen. Exactly the way the Lord told us. Amen? Hallelujah. It's, it's important. We cannot, we cannot do the things we've got in our own strength and our own wisdom. Amen. Okay? We cannot add, we cannot take away from the thing God told us. Okay? We have to follow His directions. Amen? That this, this is the case with any person that got called. Okay? Follow to the T, whatever the Lord is saying to you. Amen? Don't change. Amen. Okay? It will help you. And remember, with every call, God gives His grace Hallelujah. to fulfill what He called you to do. Amen. Remember that. And He with you. And Come He goes with you. Amen? His power, His wisdom, His wisdom, His, his resources, everything. Amen. But you have to follow. Okay, everything is said to you. Amen? You don't look to the right, near to the left. Amen. Looking forward. Amen? No distraction. Do not allow anything to distract you from the commitment of the Lord. Amen. Okay? And you're going to have distraction. You're going to have sets back. All those things are going to happen in your journey and to the obedience of God, to the will of God. Of the God. Amen? Uh, just be careful. Amen? Follow. Okay? Let's go to the book of Joshua, chapter 1. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's start Joshua chapter 1, verse 1. That's where we want to start, amen? Are you there? Amen. Okay. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, you and all these people, to the land which I am given to them. Amen? I remember, what was the, the first institution? Arise. Amen. And go. Amen? That's clear, right? Amen. Everybody can understand what he said. Arise and go. Hallelujah. Okay? Arise, go over this Jordan, you and all these people, to the land which I am given to them, the children of Israel. So he said, you know, arise, go over this Jordan. You cross the Jordan. Okay? The God's telling him what way to go. Amen. Are you listening? Come on. You cannot say, no, I'm going to go this way. Mm -hmm. This way is better. No. Over this Jordan. That's God's direction. If you follow that direction, go with you. Amen. Amen? Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. Verse 3. Every place that the soul or your foot will tread upon, I have given you every place. It's yours. <laughs> Amen. He got blessed you in a, in a place, in a location. It's yours. Amen. It doesn't matter your position. Come on. And your place. Hallelujah. God gave it to you. Amen. And don't think you're not going to have a position. You will have a position. You will have resistance. Amen. From inside and outside. Amen. Every place that the soul of your foot will tread upon, I have given you. As I say to Moses. Amen. As I say to Moses. Okay. Obedience is the key. Okay. Amen. And no formula. You're going to come with a new formula to do the will of the Father. Obedience is the key. Amen? Verse 4. From the wilderness in this Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hiratites, and to the great sea toward the going down of the sun, shall be your territory. Listen to this, verse 5. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. No man. Amen. They don't fear men. Come on. They will count against you, they will oppose you, but they not overcome you. Come on. They will not defeat you. If you but the key is obedience. Amen. That's the key. That's right. Amen. Amen. No man. Do not fear men. They can throw, they can bark. Hallelujah. Don't fear men. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. You know, it's not that you don't have to pay attention to that. You're in a mission. Come on. That's right. There's no That's problem. what he said. Don't look to the right, near to the left. Don't listen. Don't listen to no of the voices. Come on. There's not the voice of God. Amen. You already heard what God said. Okay, why do you listen to other noise, other voices? Why? Hallelujah. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. <laughs> no different, you see. I was with Moses, I will be with you. Amen. Hmm. I will not leave you nor forsake you. you. You hear that? Is God speaking? Come on. Okay, what about this? What about this? No, 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 no. What God is saying, that's what you have to listen. Amen. That's what you have to pay attention when a guy is speaking to you. No other noise. No other voices. Come on. Man. Verse is, be strong and no good courage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For to these people you shall divide as inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Guys, uh, you are chewing, Joshua. You see, that land is yours. And you're going to inherit. And you're going to divide them to the people. Just go. Don't be afraid. I'm with you. Amen. I'm with you. And we, and, and we know that Joshua's obey, right? There was opposition in the camp. The people 
did not believe. They were afraid of the giants. But God said, I I'm going with you. Amen. Who's going to defeat God? No one. You see? That people what lack of faith. Mm -hmm. And when they saw the giant, they were afraid. Not Yahshua, not Caleb. They believe God. Amen. Sometimes people don't do what God called them to do because fear. Mm -hmm. Fear of this, fear of that, fear of men. Fear they don't have, fear of lack. God will provide. Amen. He sent you, He will provide. Amen. Remember when they, He sent, the, he sent the, the apostles? When they come back to the Lord, he said, he asked them, do you like anything? He said, no, no. Come on. He said, God went with them. Jesus Amen. went with them. You're not going alone. You're not walking alone. Sometimes it seems like it. you're alone, but you're not because God's with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 7, only be strong and very courageous that you might observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left that you might prosper wherever you go. And remember, this goes because God saved you. <laughs> you go wherever you go, where God saved you, you, you go in obedience to God. Amen. You go, you are doing the will of God. Amen. Okay? And because that, God's with you. But obedience is the key. You have to accept everything that God's telling you to do. Amen. Okay, observe is to do. Okay. That's why you have to pay attention when someone gives you instructions. In this case, God giving you the instruction, do this, go this way. Mm -hmm. You want to be successful? Obey God. Amen. Don't come with your own formula. Some people want God to be with them, but they're going in their own way. They say, well, but the word of God says that God will be me wherever I go. No, in His will. Come on. In His will. Amen. That's good. Don't start claiming something disobedient. <laughs> hmm. He sent you there. Mm -hmm. You see, God will be Joshua, he will say wherever God, Moses, you see Moses, because Moses, before God came to Joshua, Moses gave, gave instruction to, to Joshua. And it didn't change because the same thing that Moses told Joshua, God came and spoke the same thing to Joshua. That was different directions. No, because God is telling, is telling Joshua see, that you might observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. You see, that means what Moses told you, I told Moses to tell you. The same thing I'm telling you now, I'm reminding you those things now, do those things. Amen. And you will be to self. So we have to come back. Remember what I got to you. Are you doing those things that God told you to do? Are you following, following His direction? Yes. 
you will prosper, you follow that. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. Amen. Yes. Verse 8, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Okay? That's what's important, the meditation of the word of God day and night. Then you don't forget what God is saying. Okay? Because only that you obey, you meditate the word of God, you do the word of God, then you become successful. Amen. You will prosper. Only then. Okay. See, just you have to do get the word and meditate day and night to follow, to do it. Because you want to be successful, right? Amen. You want to fulfill what God called him to do. And the only way they're going to be successful is do it. What I was commanded to him to follow, to do it. Amen. Amen. Because if you don't do that, what's going to happen? You're going to be, you're going to try to do it in your own understanding, in your own power. That's what many believers are frustrated. Because they try to accomplish things in their own way, in their own power. Not following God. Instruction, God's command. See? When we have, I can do things to cry, you stand to me. It's because already God called you to do that, and God will give you the strength to do that. <laughs> you see, that's what it is. Don't ask for a strength, you walking in disobedience. See, it's important to preserve. Don't look to the right near to the left. Why? Because if you look to the right and you look to the left, what happened? Distraction. You're going to stumble. Mm -hmm. You're not going to follow the instructions. Amen. The key is to meditate on those things that God tells you to do every day. You don't forget. forget to do what God's called you to do. Amen. That's why you meditate in the world. And we know Joshua did it because he had to wait for 40 years. <laughs> he didn't get discouraged. They, they, they had to wait all that time because the, the people were disobedient. They were afraid. They start complaining, but he was focused. You know what, what he was doing all this time? They were waiting, meditating on the world. God told me this. It's going to happen. It was sad that they had to wait 40 years. And all those disobedience died in the wilderness. Only the young people, the new generation, Entering the promised land. The only of the old generation that entered the promised land was Joshua and Caleb. They are the only one. The rest for disobedience. He didn't touch the land. See, disobedience is, is bad. Because Deprive you to receive from God. Amen. Deprive you to be successful. 
and, and to prosper. To be able that to not look to the right or to the left, you have to meditate on the word of God day and night. Amen. That's key, you focus. That's important to study the word of God. And not only that, but the word of God, the principal thing, okay? But meditate on those things that the Lord spoke to you in private. In those directions that the Lord gave you privately. Amen. Start saying, you know, to go and do and say, Lord, and, and God give you the grace. God give you, will give you the strength to do it. That's right. Give you the wisdom, the resources, anything you need. God, because I will go with you. As I walk with most, I will be with you. Right? Amen. Start looking at God and say, oh Lord, why? No, no. Are you obeying God? Come on. Because God with them will be with you and you obey me. That's right. Hallelujah. Obedience to the key. Amen. And meditate the word of God. What we meditate the word of God? To obey it. To do it. <laughs> Amen. To be successful. And the things God calls us to do. It doesn't matter how long it's going to take you focus. I look into the right, I look into the left. Just focus. Amen. And don't allow anything to distract you. The right hand is a distraction, the left is a distraction. <laughs> Amen. All the noise, all the shiny things. That's what when you hear from God, remember, you should hear from God, you do it and don't let anything detour you. Amen. Okay, let's go to Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4. Say amen when you're there. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 26. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 26. You there? Amen. Panther the path of your feet. I mean, meditate where you're going. <laughs> you see? You are, you, you are like going like crazy. Everywhere you, you meditate. I'm go I wanna go this way, but you meditate why are you going that way? Come on. Why? That's good. Why you wanna do that? Panda. Mm -hmm. Meditate. The consequences. Panda. It's meditate. And that means just casual meditation, you know, 
Chumi you sit down and meditate, what you want to do, what you, what you want to take that step. Okay? Pound the, the parts of your feet and let all your way be established. Amen? Amen. All your way. You know, we're established in what? In God's will, in God's world. Amen. Okay, established. Remember? Be establishing the rock. <laughs> Be establishing the word of God. Pound. Meditate before you take a step. Meditate. Before you say, I want to do this, meditate. Pray. I mean, pray. Because if you take the wrong step, you cannot take it back. Mm. It's done. Mm. It's done. See, let, 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 let the world of God be your guidance. Amen. Let, let, don't leave Proverbs 4. I'm going to read something. In Psalm 119, but you stay there in, in Proverbs 4. Okay? You see? Be established in the Word of God. Psalm 119, verse 105. Listen. Your word is lamp to my feet. You see? Your word, the Word of God. You counsel. <laughs> Any light to my path, you see? Talking about the word of God. Yeah. Don't walk without the counsel of God. Amen. Okay. Now. Maybe we talk about the wisdom of God. Who's the wise person? The one who hears the word of God and do it. The one who build house on the rock, that's the Jesus and his word. Amen. Think about this. You know, how much hard hate we avoid if we do this. Don't be so impulsive to do things because you're emotional or fear that I have to do this now without God's counsel. Found the parts of your feet and let all your ways be established. Amen? Verse 27. We are in Proverbs 4, right? Amen. Do not turn to the right or the left. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Remove your foot from evil. Amen? You understand? Hey, don't run to evil. Don't go to evil. Don't do anything that against God. Don't do anything that's contrary to the word of the God or the will of God for your life. Mm -hmm. If God shows you the path, don't turn to the right near to the left. Go on the path that the Lord has already set for you. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter how beautiful look they are or there. Come on. It doesn't matter how fun the people are there on the left side are having or the other on the right side are having. It doesn't matter. You continue in the path that the Lord carved for you. Come on. That's your road. Hallelujah. Don't detour from it. Amen. I don't want to have fun. They're having fun. 
Leave them alone. Come on. This is your path. Amen. Don't look to the right. Don't look to the left. Ask the people. They try to live the life having fun all the time. <laughs> How much headache? They have more headache than the fun they got. Mm -hmm. Go ask somebody they are living more than you. <laughs> and they will tell you they have fun, they have a lot of headache too. There's more headache than fun. Verse 27 again, Proverbs 4, verse 27, do not turn to the right or the left. <laughs> Remove your foot from evil. Amen? Amen. What, is, what is evil? Everything is against God. And you this, even you think you're doing good things, but God tells you, I want you to do this and go this way, and you go and do all the things that maybe look by the eyes of men, but evil for you because you're disobeying God. That's right. And not about all the things that we think that the evil is and disobedient to the will of God when God already showed His will to you. Amen. When God showed you His will for you, okay, whatever you do aside that will is evil. Because it's not a faith. You're not walking by faith. You're not trusting God. Amen. It is not of faith, it's evil. <laughs> Do you understand that? That's right. It's evil. It's a remove your food from evil. Don't do it. That's what he said. Don't do it. Remove your feet. Don't go up there. Listen. Amen. Meditate about this. Think about it. See it. Let's go to Matthew chapter 7. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. will obey his word right Amen. Matthew chapter 7 thank you Jesus verse 13 Matthew 7 verse 13 are you ready Amen. enter by the narrow gate <laughs> you see that's the part that God said for us children the narrow way <laughs> why is narrow the way because you go in a narrow way you cannot turn right then you have to go only forward Amen. <laughs> hallelujah enter by the narrow gate for what is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction you see that's why God put us in the narrow way the the the, the wide way you can do whatever you want. <laughs> and, 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 and what will happen? Bring you destruction. Mm -hmm. Bring you headache. <laughs> you see? 
Entered by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, broad is the way that leads to destruction. Okay? And there are many who go in by it. Many go to the, the wide way. Why? Because they can do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. They don't need to obey God in that way. And you need to listen to God's counsel. I do whatever I want. Don't tell me anything, God. But God, you got in trouble, come and rescue me. <laughs> you need something, come and give it to me. If they end up doing whatever they want. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I will go with you only to those that are obedient to you. I will go with you. If you go in, and the way, and the path that he set for you, he's he walking right there with you. He's walking by your side. That's right. And like the world says, go before you, beside you, and behind you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in a, in, in a wide way. You're alone, you're on your own, baby. Doing whatever you want. You see, it's, it, look what it says. Many, many. They went, many, they go. You see, that's what a few, that's what you found. A few uh, true Christian. Mm -hmm. Few. But they, 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 the vast majority, they're not following God's command. They, they, they're not going for the path that the Lord set to them. They do whatever they want, but they're calling on him all the time. But they do whatever they want. Many. They will go by big for because narrow is the gate <laughs> and difficult is the way. We live to life. You see, yeah, you're gonna have some 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 things when you go in, in the narrow way. It leads you to life. You know what life is? Eternal life. Life in the kingdom, fellowship with the Lord. You see? And there are few who find it. Few. You see, few go to that path, to the, st to the narrow way. Few. But many go to the wide path. And they all, oh, man, like a, they haven't found. They don't have no fun. You go ahead, eh? coming behind them. They're without protection. Mm -hmm. They're naked. They can say, they lost my shield. They cannot say now nah, because they're doing their own thing. They cannot say, my, the Lord is my strong tower and my refuge. No, because they are way of the path. They are way for the narrow way. They are way then they, and the wide of path that leads to destruction. And why lead to destruction? Because God is not with them. And not because God don't love them. They decide to go that way. Because God said, enter. He said, enter by the narrow gate. He's telling, this is the way. Enter. Amen. And like that, he's not saying anything. <laughs> enter by the narrow gate. See, in the narrow way, you can you cannot look to the right or to the left. You could have straight forward looking to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. <laughs> follow his direction, follow his counsel. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Obey. Hear the word of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord speaking. Amen. Obey. Amen.